Um, I welcome members to the second meeting in 2013 of the Subordinate Legislation Committee. Uh, ask members to turn off mobile phones. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed that the committee takes item five in private. This is a consideration of a letter from the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee in relation to Scottish Law Commission reports. Do members agree to take item five in private, please? Yes. We do. Thank you. Agenda item two, then, is instruments subject to negative procedure. The Welfare of Animals at the Time of Killing, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2012, SSI 2012 355. There's been a failure to lay the instrument at least 28 days before it came into force, as required by Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010. As the instrument was not laid at least 28 days before it came into force, does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the Parliament's attention under reporting ground J? Does the committee agree to find the explanation provided by the Scottish Government for this failure to be acceptable <coughs> in respect that the purpose of this instrument was to address the defects in the welfare of animals at the time of killing Scotland Regulations 2012 at the time when that instrument came into force? No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Shetland Islands Regulated Fisheries Scotland Order 2012 SSI 2012 348, nor on the Marketing of Bananas Scotland Regulations 2012 SSI 2012 349, nor the domestic sorry the non-domestic rate Scotland Number no. Two Order 2012 SSI 2012 352. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yeah, thank you. Agenda item three, instruments is not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The Manker in Crathis Light Railway Order 2012, SSI 2012-345. The form or meaning of, of Article 6 could have been clearer had BRB Residuary Limited been properly designated by specifying its company name, registered number and the address of its registered office. It's not clear without reference to additional information that the reference to BRB Residuary Limited without further specification is properly a reference to BRB Residuary Limited, a company incorporated under the Companies Act with registered number 04146505 and having its registered office at, at 1 Kemble Street, London, WC2B, 4AN, when it appears that that was the Scottish Minister's intention. Does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground H, as the meaning could have been clearer? There is a drafting error in the preamble in that Section 18 of the Light Railways Act 1896 is cited as an enabling power when, as the Scottish Ministers acknowledge, that power has not been exercised in the making of this order. Does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground? Agenda item four, public body consent memorandum. This item of business is consideration of the draft public bodies office of a fair trading transfer of consumer advice scheme function and modification of enforcement functions order 2013, the United Kingdom government order under section one of the UK public bodies act 2011. As members will recall, the consent of the Scottish Parliament is required to make an order under Part 1 of the Public Bodies Act 2011, where such an order makes provision which would be within the legislative competence of the Scottish Parliament. The Subordinate Legislation Committee considers and reports on such orders under the same grounds as instruments laid before the Parliament. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the order. Is the Committee content with the order? Thank you. That completes item four. We move to agenda item five, which is in private. <laughs> <laughs>